So Herdict Web is part of a suite of tools we're developing to make surfing the web a less metaphorically autistic experience so that you can actually start to get a sense of what's going on and why when it turns out you can't get somewhere. And depending on where you happen to live in the world, uh, this may turn out to be a phenomenon that happens an awful lot. So uh, we're starting at uh, the Berkman Center homepage here in our web browser. In this case, we're using Firefox, although the Herdict Toolbar plugin works in both IE and Firefox with others to follow. And you see what it gives you up in the uh, corner here is a little sheep. Um, and the sheep turns color depending on whether the site that you're visiting has been reported by others as inaccessible. So in this case, our own homepage has had three reports, apparently, which we could investigate if we wanted. But So it's not just all about us. We're going to go to amnesty.org, and we're going to spell it right. And once we get there, the sheep turns yellow, which indicates that nobody in the U.S. has reported it inaccessible, but it has been reported inaccessible three times somewhere else. And uh, you can make a report yourself, if you like, or learn more about it so that you can see what's going on. And here you can see, uh, since we started Herdic just a few weeks ago, uh, around the world we've gotten three reports of inaccessibility and 90 that say that, no, they can get there just fine. And we look, two of those reports come from the Philippines with nobody saying they can get there, and one from Saudi Arabia. So the data is still a little bit thin. And here's a chart showing the reports as they've come in over time. We can actually ask to test this site ourselves. And what we see uh, as it tries to load it is that, surprise, surprise, we can get there just fine. Um, along the left is data that will be sent back to the herd if we choose to uh, report what we see. In this case, we can say we're coming from school. And I suppose the category is closest would be politics. We're going to be reworking those categories soon. Uh, any comments that you might want to have. And then you can say, OK, it's inaccessible. You can see other people's comments here as well in the bottom left corner. So I click accessible. It thanks us for the report. And then we can get into a queue basically inspired by uh, the website Am I Hot or Not, uh, where you get to look at people's pictures and say what you think. Here it will load in a bunch of sites that have been reported elsewhere as inaccessible, in this case, China Digital Times. And then we say, well, can you see it? And as you can see, we can see it just fine. So we say accessible. And then it presents us with the next one. Here's a live journal URL that um, uh, apparently is filtered somewhere in the world. In fact, we know that it is. Works fine for us. So we'll say accessible. And we'll see one site after another as it tries to load it. Um, it turns out to have a kind of hypnotic quality going from one site to another uh, in the reporter. And uh, it can be quite fascinating to see the sites that others are saying they can't get to, even if you are, as is the case here. We are not only in the United States, which tends not to have a technical program of filtering like some other states, uh, but we're connecting from Harvard University, which uh, has no filtering on its network either. So we're likely to be able to see pretty much everything. Um, and. The, the sites that we won't see will be sites that are down because the site themselves are down. And Herdic should pick that up too. We define inaccessible as meaning any site uh, or any bit of information that you can't get to at all online. And it might be because the government is trying to stop you from getting there. It might also be because the website itself is down or unavailable, which would be reported through this tool. Or it might be because the website is being selective about whom it will let view it. YouTube, for example, has been known to uh, take certain videos and on an individual yeah, basis, look at that, we just won a prize. Well, that is all too accessible. So we're going to go to the next one. Um, uh, YouTube has been known with uh, the state of Thailand to take videos on YouTube that might be uh, insulting to the Thai king, make them accessible worldwide, but inaccessible if YouTube thinks that you're coming from Thailand. And that's the kind of thing that Herdict would pick up as people make reports from Thailand and elsewhere one way or the other. So that's basically the idea behind the reporter. When YouTube itself was blocked by uh, uh, China just a few weeks ago, we're uh, at the moment in early 2009, uh, Herdict was able to pick that up and show people's reports as they came in. So when we look at YouTube.com, there's a graph of reports from everywhere. If we zoom in on China, which is where most of the action has been, we can see a prior block a few weeks ago 
and then boom, here's where there's a real spike in reports, and then this gets down to the ISP level, you can see who can't get there and who can, and I think truncated because we may have asked to enlarge this uh, web thing. Indeed, there we are. Um, you can see some quite heated comments along the right um, as people are saying that they can't get there and perhaps providing a little bit more data. So uh, we're hoping that Herdict Web will become a kind of, uh, to borrow a term uh, ill-used by Bill Gates, digital nervous system for the internet. Something so that when something isn't working, you can come here, take a look, add your own two cents, and together what is easily accessible to us individually, whether we can get somewhere or whether we can get to the information we want, we can now collectively uh, benefit from and come to uh, an insight about blocking as it happens. So here's hopes that you'll give it a try, uh, either generally, if you've got nothing else to do, instead of pulling out Minesweeper or Solitaire, why not uh, pull up the Herdict Reporter and uh, start to learn about other sites that are blocked. You might download the toolbar, which you can get at herdict.org. Uh, or you might uh, be prepared as the time comes. We're going to have versions of this next uh, in Arabic and in Chinese. Uh, we're looking for help in porting it to other languages. And eventually we'll have a screensaver so that your computer can be kind of like SETI at home, telling you how it's crunching numbers that will tell you whether there are aliens around. Uh, we'll have a screensaver that can check out sites, and you can get kind of a, a view of sites as they're reported, and your computer can be, with your permission, making some reports in to the rest of the herd about what it can find, not even needing intervention by you. So thanks again for tuning in. We welcome your comments. You can visit us again at herdict.org.